Now, there's no question. Immigration is a hot button issue these days. Yeah, caught up in the back and forth battle over secure borders and then the desire to keep dangerous people out. Hundreds of immigrants who fought for the U.S. at war but got deported for committing crimes after their service. They admit they did wrong, but now they're fighting to come back. And our Patrick Kaye spoke to a pair of deported veterans who say they've earned the right for a second chance. At least to get most of us back. Most are like drug related type thing, you know. Former Army Sergeant Ivan Ocon sits in the passenger side of a stopped car in Juarez. The Mexico born United States veteran grew up in Las Cruces, New Mexico, joined the Army, and deployed to Iraq in 2003. I still got my uniforms, and for this next event, I'm getting my. My dress greens. While he was not a U.S. citizen, he was in the United States illegally when he enlisted. So I just got to put all my, uh, all my patches, all, I mean, all my ribbons and everything on there. But two years ago, the same federal government that deployed Ocon deported him because of a conviction in a kidnapping case. I was charged with uh, not directly into, it was aiding and abating to a kidnapping of family member, you know, uh, a family member, a close family member committed this crime and I was deported for having knowledge the crime was being committed and I didn't report it. Acone hasn't seen his now 15 year old daughter since deportation more than two years ago. This is my daughter, Eliza Murray. She's, uh, she currently lives in Las Cruces. She was born like maybe a month or two after I came back from Operation Iraqi Freedom. It sucks, you know, uh, you, you lose everything, you know. Ocon says there are many other veterans in the same position, non-U.S. citizens who served in the U.S. military but were deported after committing a crime. Ocon tells us he took a plea deal without realizing the government would deport him if convicted. While he admits he did wrong, he says he paid the price by doing 10 years in prison. He says his deportation makes his punishment a lifelong sentence. The last time I was here in Mexico, I was seven years old, so they're going to send me to a country where I don't know what to expect. Uh, there's been a lot of killings here, there's all this stuff, so, like, you know, it just, you just feel betrayed, you know, by the same country you served. Vietnam veteran Francisco Lopez says he was caught buying cocaine and was deported. And I couldn't believe it, because uh, I, didn't, I didn't know Mexico anymore. Now Lopez and Acon run a bunker for other deported veterans in Juarez, both men, want to return to the United States. Because, like I say, you know, I risked my life going to Vietnam and I didn't speak any English at all, but I've done my job. And for that, they gave me all these medals. Back here in the United States, lawyers and lawmakers are working to bring deported veterans back from places like Juarez. The Repatriate Our Patriot Act would ban the deportation of immigrant veterans who have been convicted and instead grant them permanent residency upon release from prison. But not everyone is on board with that plan. New Mexico Congresswomen Social Torres Small and Deb Holland say they support the bill. Congressman Ben Ray Lujan says he will only support a pathway to citizenship for veterans deported of a misdemeanor conviction, but not for veterans found guilty of a serious crime. While that conviction is still in their criminal record, then there's no possibility. Xavier Mendez is an immigration attorney, an army veteran, helping deported veterans find a pathway to citizenship. Something can cause significant change uh, in, in this that would allow vast majority or, or a significant number of deported veterans to come back, it'll be a change in legislation. As Ocon and Lopez wait on changes to federal law, Ocon knows his chances of making it back to the United States legally are slim. The only way back right now is in a uh, in death in a pine box to go, then we could go back to the states and be buried at uh, Fort Bliss and get our military honors and all that. Then we die as, as citizens, you know? Where's the honor in that? Patrick Hayes, KOB4.